Now, Daniel Day-Lewis could be on course to make history. He has been nominated for his third Oscar for Best Actor for his portrayal of Abraham Lincoln, the revered president who ended the Civil War and slavery in America. If he wins next month, he will be the first man to win that award three times. He's very selective about the roles he takes on, and he's impossible to typecast with films as varied as My Beautiful Laundrette, Last of the Mohicans, and My Left Foot. While it took the director, Steven Spielberg, many, many years to persuade him to play Lincoln, so when I interviewed Daniel Day-Lewis recently from Paris, I began by asking him why, after two refusals, he finally said yes. I ran out of excuses. <laughs> uh, I just, I looked at it, and I thought, that's a really great job for somebody else um, but it's something to do with the passage of time and and um, uh, at some point I felt that I felt that irresistible um, almost as if one's being drawn into the orbit of another life uh, almost a physical sensation um, which is a uh, that's usually the warning sign um, for me. <laughs> a lot has been made about his voice. Now, you came up with that, didn't you? You, you worked hard. You, you produced the voice that you then sent to Steven Spielberg, and he got it on a cassette. And some people have said it, it was startling when they first heard it. His voice was, was folksy. It was, it was high. How did you come up with that voice? Very few people that met him didn't make some documented commentary about it because he was such an extraordinary figure and um, it, many people uh, mentioned uh, the quality of his voice really only just to say that it was surprisingly high-pitched um, I suppose because of a man of his size and his stature you would expect him to have a, a rich baritone and he didn't um, so that's a clue. I mean, it's not a very instructive one, but at least it's a clue. Um, but at a given moment, if I'm lucky, um, I, as I begin to grow towards an understanding, I, I, I begin to hear a voice. I'm, I'm, I'm listening for it, and I begin to hear a voice, which I don't try to reproduce. It's uh, the voice of the, of the inner ear, I suppose. And then if I live with that for a while and it pleases me, then I set about the task of trying to, uh, to get it outside of myself and reproduce it. Euclid's first common notion is this. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. That's a rule of mathematical reasoning. It's true because it works. Has done and always will do. In his book, hmm, Euclid says this is self-evident. It is a self-evident truth that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. And once you've found his voice, the hardest thing, I guess, must be to just to keep hold of it. Is it, is it true that you, you did stay in character for the whole filming? Were you Lincoln throughout the filming? Well, I don't know what I was. I was something. <laughs> Not entirely myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, whenever I, or I, I always feel like I'm digging my own grave when I talk about this because uh, the, you know the dangers are so uh, numerous. You know, sounding either self-important or, or um, uh, you know, creating some you know adding to the to the already uh, fairly um, comprehensive uh, impression that people seem to have that I'm just very strange when um, I go to work but it, it makes complete sense to me the way I work. You obviously stay in character I know other people you've worked with Steven Spielberg says that you you know you talk to him as Lincoln it must be draining for you emotionally to be that character to be somebody else for all that time. Well part of my job is to be drained to me, it's, uh, you, I could almost say it's logical for me to remain within that world, but beyond it being logical, it's my pleasure because that's where the work is. You're not discovering anything when you're having a cup of tea and, having, and, and a laugh with the grips, as tempting as that would be, because there's lots of great people on a film set. And I wore myself out. I, I, first couple of movies I, I got involved with, the thing that really drained me was all the <laughs> socializing on the set.